My name is Angela Clare. I'm the Director of Early Childhood Services at the Wilder Child Development Center. I am the Family Resource Navigator here at Wilder Child Development Center. We are a program that has children from the ages of 16 months up to five years old preparing children for kindergarten. Kind of the basis for our program is social emotional development. We offer it in a way that helps build up their skills to be ready to learn the academic skills. We start at 7 a.m. Breakfast starts at 8.30. And they love having that time to talk with each other about what they did the night before. Some classrooms are writing their names in the morning, um, the older children. They have their own cubbies with their names and their pictures on them. Every day there's usually some type of classwork that's in their cubbies, getting them ready for kindergarten. They get to choose some activities that are kind of calming to get them ready for their learning. And then 9.30 is group time. Group time is a setting where all the kids come together, they talk about their curriculum. Listen to favorite stories, learn vocabulary, learn about different topics that they're learning in the classroom. You know, if a classroom's learning about the farm, for example, their small group activity might be focused on what kind of animal would you see on the farm? and maybe they're making a scavenger hunt and they're looking for animals. But it's really to hone in on a particular skill in a smaller setting. This space is for our dolphins. This is our five-year-old class. They actually made a forest. So this is all the artwork that they've done in the last few months. Just something to be creative with. And then children get to explore and play and learn on their own kind of choices. So they get to visit all the different centers in the classroom and take some risks of learning things that maybe they wouldn't learn with a teacher. A lot of the spaces in the classroom are set up for play with their peers. Each area has a specific space. And then they have outside or gym, so large muscle time, which all the children need to just kind of relax. So this is our playground. This is a very large space for children to play. There's swings. We also have a space for sand building and sometimes classrooms eat snack out here when it's a nice day, of course. We also have a wooded area which offers children a natural play space. And in the cold months, we have a full-size gym. So this is our gym. We have a full gym here on site. Where children get to play and run and also play games together. We have a great teacher, Mr. Nick. They go to parks almost every day. Just great, just fun time for kids during the summer. By 11.30, our first set of kids are going to lunch. This is where our classrooms eat during lunchtime and during mealtime. So they have their lunch, again, time to talk with peers. We offer breakfast and lunch and a snack. Each child gets their fill of nutrition each day. and that includes children that have different allergies or dietary requests. We just try to work with the families the best we can, and then there's nap time till about 3 or 3.30. We ask children to rest for about 30 minutes, and then we give them some quiet activities that they can do until their friends wake up. Especially as children are getting older, naps kind of go away. <laughs> <laughs> and then the afternoon is a little bit more low-key. They do still have another group time, and then it starts to be pickup time. So very full day. Kids get a lot. Um, they're very tired when they go home. <laughs> it's very structured. <laughs> it's to the core, very structured. <laughs> the structure that is provided here at the center comes with a school-like setting, you know, preparing you for group time, preparing you for lunch, just preparation to be ready for kindergarten. And a lot of them, they come out and they're ready. What separates us is that we are a whole family center. We focus on supporting families as a whole. We're not just working just with the children. The whole family approach is something that starts from the moment of contact with our families. Um, we have a family folder out here with notes from teachers, just information for families. They're having a meeting with our parent navigator to find out what are the goals for you and your family and where can we help meet you so that your family is successful. Part of my position is I support families with resources in the community. Some families come to us with their need for financial assistance for paying for childcare, for example. Introducing families to mental health resources. It just depends on where the family is at and what they're looking for. Getting support from just 
knowing that they have a school for their child, that they can bring their child in and say, okay, I'm out looking for housing. That transition really from pre-K to kindergarten can be pretty hard for families. And just knowing that they have a peace of mind of their child is prepared and ready is one of our biggest goals. Our Dolphins graduate this year who have started as toddlers. I would say they have been so comfortable with gaining kind of a family setting for them. They know self-regulation, they've learned the curriculum of the social emotional component that they're able to support their friends. One of the biggest resources at our center is our families. For them to be able to take their child to the next school setting and know that they're prepared and ready for that setting is huge. 